The battle over Bring Chicago Home continues ahead of the Illinois primary. It's a referendum seeking to have Chicago voters give city council the power to change the real estate transfer tax. And today, supporters of that measure filed court briefs to try and sway the judge. And WGN's Mike Lowe is joining us now with the latest. Ray and Micah, good evening to both of you. The judge in this case has given lawyers on both sides until next week to have their arguments ready. Meantime, the voters are already casting ballots. You can't complain if you don't vote, so I voted. Early voting is underway in Chicago. The March 19th election ballots were printed before a Cook County judge invalidated the referendum known as Bring Chicago Home. It asks voters to give city council the power to increase taxes on expensive property sales and use the money to help the homeless. The results will be set aside while the court determines if they'll be counted. I voted no um, for the Bring Chicago Home. I'm, I um, think it imp has a big impact on renters. I support the measure. I voted for it. I think it's very important that we fund programs to help the homeless. Count every vote. Count every vote. In the loop today, supporters of the measure rallied after filing briefs intended to convince the court to allow the question to be counted. We want to count the votes on ballot question one to bring Chicago home. Alderwoman Maria Haddon argued that a majority of Chicagoans want to see homelessness addressed with the estimated $100 million the tax increases would raise. They know that if the votes are counted, they will lose. So they're trying everything they can to undermine the democratic process. Chicago's current real estate transfer tax is a flat tax of 0.75% on all property sales. The proposal would decrease taxes for properties sold under a million dollars, but homes sold between one and one and a half million dollars would be taxed at 2%, and more expensive properties would be taxed at 3%. But the judge invalidated the measure, saying a referendum must present voters a single question while Bring Chicago Home asks voters to weigh three. The ballot language is invalidly written, is improperly written. The CEO of Illinois Realtors, a trade association which opposes the measure, says the judge simply followed the law. That they have to be split into separate individual ballot questions, and that's not how this one is structured. In Chicago, the Neighborhood Building Owners Alliance, a group opposed to the measure, has said it, quote, hurts renters, small housing providers, small businesses, and local neighborhoods. Thank you for serving our city. In an exclusive interview with WGN political reporter Timon Bradley, Mayor Brandon Johnson said he hoped that the voters, not a judge, would have the final say. I'm you know, ultimately believing and hopeful that the people of Chicago will decide um, how we want to address the unhoused crisis in Chicago. And the City of Chicago and the Chicago Board of Elections are appealing the judge's rulings. Both of those entities say they hope to have a ruling before the primary election on March 19th. Back to you. Thank you, Mike.